Hello and welcome to PCMS Norata and you're watching this video on combinations by Sonal Gupta. Before the combinations you have learned that if some or all items are to be selected and arranged in a specific order we use permutations and the number of all permutations is given as NPR and that is equal to n pictorial upon n minus r pictorial. So we use permutations when we want to select some objects and also in a specific order. But when some or all items have to be selected in any order, that is the order does not matter, then we use combinations. And the number of all combinations is given as NCR, which is equal to N factorial upon R factorial into N minus R factorial. <coughs> so let's look at this example to understand the difference between like when to use permutations and when to use combinations. So I have a question here. If out of six people, A, B, C, D, E and F, we have to select three people in an order then the possible combinations are like suppose you select a b c then you know there are six possible combinations for the these three people so it's a b c or a c b you can write them as b a c or b c a and you can write them as c a b or c b a so the order matters and so therefore six combinations for these there are six possible options for these three alphabets or these three persons to be arranged in a specific order. And so you'll have if you choose DEF, EDF and therefore the total number of combination uh, permutations. So I would say the total permutations that you will get to arrange three people out of A to F. You have to choose only three out of six and also arrange them in a specific order. Therefore total permutations is... 6p3 and that is 6 factorial upon 6 minus 3 that's 3 factorial and we know how to solve this so it's open 6 into 5 into 4 times 3 factorial upon 3 factorial and 3 factorial cancels out so you get 6 5 is a 30 times 4 that's 120 so there are 120 permutations to solve or to arrange six people, uh, we choose three out of them and arrange them in a specific order. But in the same question now, if I say out of six people, you just have to select three people in any order. So we say we have to select in any order, that means the order does not matter, then the possible combinations are, like if you select three people A, B, C, then that's one combination order doesn't matter here so you just select three people out of this and similarly you can select d e f or any other three people in any order so the possible therefore we'll say the number of ways in which you can select the number of ways to select three people out of six is just six c three so that is equal to 6 factorial upon 3 factorial into 6 minus 3. So it's n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r. Now my n is 6 factorial upon r factorial is 3 factorial into n minus r. That is also 3 factorial. And when I'll solve this, I'll get 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. 1 3 factorial I'll open as 3 times 2 times 1 into 3 factorial. This will cancel out. 6 and 6 cancels out. So you have just 20 combinations. So if you just have to select randomly any 3 people out of 6, you just have 20 ways of selecting them. But if you have to select 3 people out of 6 and also arrange them in a specific order, you have 120 permutations. So I hope uh, the difference is clear that when you use permutations and when you use combinations. And now the next thing or the next concept that you need to understand is that when to add the different combinations, like you get three different combinations, will you add them 
or you need to multiply those different combinations. So let's try to understand this with the help of an example. So say from a deck of 52 cards, you want to select four cards. Now, in the first case, the first condition is that all cards should be of the same suit. Now, when they say all cards should be of the same suit, then what you're going to do? We'll say, okay, we know that there are four suits and there are 13 cards of each suit, right? As you'll know, so there are four suits and there are 13 cards of each suit. So that means if you want to select all the four cards of the same suit, say all of the four cards are of spade, so then what are the possible ways you can select them is 13 C four ways, right? Out of 13 cards, you have to select four cards of spade. Or similarly, you have four cards of club, you can select them again in 13 C four ways, or you have four cards of hearts, you can select them as 13 C four ways, or you have four cards of diamond and you have to select them. They can be selected as 13 C four ways. So there are 13 C four ways for each kind of them, for each suit. And so for all the possible combinations, therefore all possible combinations would be, or all the possible ways of selecting all the possible combinations to select four cards of the same suit. So therefore we have the option as that will be equal to 13C4 plus 13C4 plus 13C4 and plus 13C4. So because you have these many ways either you'll select all four cards of spade or all four cards of club or all four cards of heart or all four cards of diamond. So when it is, uh, they are joining by or, so we have an option this or this or this or this. So you will add the combinations. And now if they say you have to select four cards, each of different suit. So now that means we have to select one card from each suit because you have to select four cards each of different suit so therefore one card of each suit so we'll have 13 c one ways of selecting the card say one card of spade you will have 13 c sorry this would be so multiplied by 13 c one ways if you select a card when you select a card of heart then club and then diamond so now you have 13 C1 of selecting each card from each suit. And why we have put a multiplication sign? Because you have to choose one of club and one of spade and one of heart and one of diamond. So you have this and this and this and this. Therefore, you will multiply all the combinations. So I hope the confusion about multiplying or adding the combinations should be over after understanding this. Uh, that is all about combinations. We'll come up with some more problems in the next video. Thank you.